Hello YouTube. Let me tell you about a very unusual island in the territory of the Russian Arctic. I have described before in my earlier videos, and I'm talking about the Kola Peninsula, an esoteric, frequently paranormal, harsh and beautiful land. The Kola Peninsula is a peninsula in the extreme northwest of Russia and one of the largest peninsulas of Europe. Constituting the bulk of the territory of the Mormonsk region, it lies almost completely inside the Arctic Circle and is bordered by the Barents Sea to the north and by the White Sea to the east and southeast. There are many amazing traces of an antiquity on the Kola Peninsula. One can even say that in that land, the echo of centuries is extremely common. Perhaps the most ancient so-called miracle of the Murmansk region, are rock carvings on the islands and shores of Lake Kan Ozero. They are petroglyphs. Petroglyphs are rock carvings of free subjects that do not form any system of signs. In other words, it is the painting of ancient artists, which differs from various types of ancient writing by freedom of self-expression. Scientists there still explore the mysteries of ancient artists of the Kola Peninsula, like the Whale Island and the Moose people. Petroglyphs of Kanozero were found 25 years ago in the Murmansk region. And this is the last discovery of ancient art of this scale in Russia. Whales, moose, birds, boats, skis, people... That Kamene island rises from the blue waves of Kanozero, one of the hundreds of thousands of lakes of the Kola Peninsula. The island is shaped like a whale. If you look at it from above, for example, from a quadca quadcopter. Quadcopter is an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, or drone with four rotors each, with a motor and propeller. A quadcopter can be manually controlled or can be autonomous. It is also called quadrorotor helicopter or quadrotor. It belongs to a more general class of aerial vehicles called multi-copter or multi-rotor. But how did people who lived in the polar regions several thousand years ago knew about this? They didn't have drones, and this is one of the mysteries of the ancient rock carvings of Kanozero. In a way, like the Nazca lines in South America, right? The island immediately attracts attention. I studied the reports of Soviet-era tourists and peoples. They always had the feeling that there was a fabulous island ahead. Apparently, the ancients also had this, this feeling. A magical island shaped like a fish whale, says Vadim Lihachov, who has been exploring the petroglyphs of Kan Ozero for a quarter of a century. The petroglyphs of Kan Ozero were discovered only over 25 years ago in 1997. And again, this is the last discovery of this scale in Russia, unless they find something else, maybe in the thickets of... Far East, Siberia. Well, we can't guess. We know what we have. The petroglyphs of Kanozero were found by chance in 1997 by young men, all tourists. Already the next year, a scientific expedition found 450 images. Well, actually, there's 1,500, uh, in, as we know, in 2023. Most of them are on the Kamini Island, there are more than 2,000 islands, by the way, and the so-called Adinokaya, or Lonely Rock. According to Alexander Svirchkov, director of the Museum Reserve Petroglyphs of Kanozero, in the ancient Pamor village of Umba on the shore of the White Sea. The images of the Kanozero stones, rocks, appeared in the fourth to second millennia before common era or bc 
the oldest being 6,000 years old. Okay? The same age as the Egyptian pyramids and Stonehenge. There are a lot of images of people. The main subjects are related to hunting by boat, be bear, deer, and even whale. Moreover, this is a collective hunt from several boats. Look, it is difficult to agree on tactics and security nowadays. And people were able to do this thousands of years ago. Alexander Svirchkov, himself an experienced hunter, knows what he's talking about. The only plot of land hunting, a man goes skiing, we see traces of sticks and traces of a bear. Whales are one of the mysteries. The Kanozero is not connected to the seas, neither the White Sea nor the Barren Sea. We are puzzling over what kind of whale it is. There are belugas in the White Sea, but it doesn't look like a beluga in proportions. Vadim Lihachev feels like a guide among the drawings on the rocks of Kamini Island, like a guide among the masterpieces in the Hermitage Museum. There's another image of a whale. I assume that this is how the island we are on was depicted. It is oriented to the cardinal directions in the same way. And the lateral fins are like pebble braids on the side of the island. There is an idea that ancient people communicated with rocks, trees, animals as with animate beings. And petroglyphs are a reflection of such relationships. Vadim Lihachev shares another hypothesis with the Russian journalists. The largest and most expressive images are dedicated to moose on the boat, a moose's head without horns. Uh, <clears throat> the moose seems to be turned without antlers, I assume. The moose seems to be turned into an, the unknown and protects the people in the boat. That moose was asked for fertility for animals and people. Most likely, people originally came from the forest. And when they found themselves near the White Sea, they began to master sea hunting. And they made requests for a successful hunt. Drawings are some kind of request. Hunting was not the only interest of the ancient inhabitants of the Kola Peninsula. Here is a love triangle, a pregnant woman with two men, and this is practically Kama Sutra. The director points to the eloquent image. In other drawings, either a shaman or a sorcerer is a man with a moose head. Maybe these are visual tutorials on important subjects for life, from deer hunting to procreation, or a primitive blog, today I was hunting and yesterday I went on a date. Science doesn't yet have a clear answer to why these drawings were made. Not a single campsite or burial ground has been found around Kanozira. People did not live here, Alexander Svirchkov presents another enigma. Maybe there was a transport itinerary. Uh, those who engage in, is in the esoteric sciences or beliefs say that these places are connected with the outer space. But we, the people of science, cannot say that. That's what Svirchkov stated. There are many more questions, mysteries, hypotheses. Vadim Lihachev hopes for new methods. Ultrasound penetrating through the soil layer, lidars, programmetry, photogrammetry. He resides for a long time on the Kamini island in a tent or on the border nearby. He meets tourists from Umba to Kanozero. In summer, they take boats and all-terrain vehicles in winter um, on snowmobiles. In September 2022, on the occasion of the anniversary, the government of the Murmansk region presented the museum with an all-season snowmobile. Another transport miracle for a visit to the petroglyphs is an airboat that easily overcomes rapid rivers. From the water, a huge transparent dome over the island can easily be mistaken for the now fashionable glamping. Tourism in the Murmansk region 
has been actively developing, that but the dome appeared for other purposes. A transparent protective dome made of monolithic polycarbonate with a diameter of 27 meters and a height of 13 meters covers more than 600 images to protect them from the destructive effects of nature and man, according to Alexander Sverchkov. The rock on which the images are embossed is slate, very soft. When the turf was removed, the stone began to layer and collapse. Under the dome, petroglyphs are not covered with snow. They can be seen, they can be seen all year round. There are other rock carvings in the Murmansk region, on the Panoi River, on the Cape of Chalmni Vare. There are several rocks with shapes carved on them on the Rebachi Peninsula, on the coast of the Barren Sea, there is a rock with images painted in okri. The discovery of the Kanozira rock art is really a significant event, if only because it is the largest accumulation of petroglyphs in the whole of Europe. Subsequent archaeological expeditions after the discovery in 1997 confirmed the age of the drawings the fine dates to three, from 3,000 to 4,500 millennia before common era, according to this report. On September 8, 1998, this historical object became protected by the state. As announced by the decree of the government of the Murmansk region, the petroglyphs of the Kanozero are recognized as historical value. The museum has been operating the, another museum of the same name, Petroglyphs of Kanozero, in the village of Umba since 2009. In addition to viewing the exhibits in the museum itself, the scientific staff organized uh, trips to the petroglyphs on the Kanozero Islands. If you are planning to inspect the petroglyphs yourself without the participation of a guide, then locals strongly recommend that you warn the museum staff about your stay in the Kanozero area by phone. The fact is that because of vandalism in the form of inscriptions on rocks and damage to ancient drawings, they were forced to provide a special regime in the location of the rock carvings. The islands and the coast are monitored by watchmen, and if you enter this territory without warning, you will create additional difficulties for the keepers of petroglyphs. Moreover, according to the law, and all objects, including in the complex of rock carvings, petroglyphs of Kanozera, namely Adinoke or Lonely Rock, Kamene or Stone or Rock Island, Yilowe or Spruce Island, and Garele or Burnt Island. There's a monument protection regime. Parking, campfires within the complex are strictly prohibited. And remember those mysterious labyrinths I have told you so much about? same neighborhood, and so many more paranormal phenomena and historical enigmas. But how did the ancient people know what their island looked like from, from above? What did they fly? Or who showed them the images made from unimaginable flying machines? Time will tell, we hope. So if you like my research, I'll continue to bring you such interesting stories from Russia, neighboring countries, Eurasia, and from other parts of the world, some of which I had seen in my own field research. If you can support me, you'll find the links on how to do it in the description to this uh, video. Please tell others about my channel. Please like my videos and please subscribe. Thank you for your attention to my work. I really appreciate it.